Hey everybody, welcome back to Hanging with Harv. Today, we're working on mobilizing the chicken coop. Just going to kind of sketch out here a little bit of what I want to build, so you guys have an idea. We're going to use a trailer jack, some wheels I bought at Harbor Freight. It's going to look something like this, so let's get started. I don't know if there's a better product to use, but I generally, when I'm drilling metal, I use some of this uh, thread cutting oil. I just picked it up at the local big box, and I just dribble a little bit of that in there. Now we're gonna have to obviously do these one at a time so that they match up. Got the burrs off the bottom of that. And now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go with a bolt. And I just want to go through the, the top only so that I'm sh ensured that it's going to fit and it's going to be in the right spot. All that good stuff, right? At least that's my thought. Okay, so we got one plate kind of ready to be welded. And all I, well, I don't have the, the post ready to be welded though. I need to drill the post out for the diameter of that uh, axle rod. I mean, I could definitely leave a little meat you know at the bottom here because again i'm gonna i'm gonna bore a sizable hole in here all the way through and i want something there on the back end to uh give it some support so that's what we got to do now so the first operation was just to get a hole straight through with this guy and then come back and widen it to the size of the to the size we need it with uh, a bit like this here so it's a metal drilling bit step bit the next thing I got to do is I've got I'm gonna have to make a plate to mount this this is the part that normally would get welded onto uh, the side of a trailer so I've got this thick quarter inch flat stock that I cut down it's about four and three quarter square we got our two posts ready to go. We've got the two plates that they go on ready to go. We've got our two axles marked and ready to be drilled. And the plates that mount the coupling to for the mounting to the coop itself are marked and uh, ready to be drilled out. Now, somebody told me that my, my heat I wasn't going hot enough, so I'm going to crank the heat up on this. We'll, we'll make sure we get it hot. Try it out. Man. Whew, I cranked up the heat. You can feel that. Mm -hmm. This one's definitely turning out better than the other one. I adjusted the wire feed speed. I think I had it too, too fast on that one. This one's going much better. Woo, baby, I feel better. I'm a little closer. Don't be shy. All right, now, I've got a new, uh, a new grinding type of disc here. This is actually uh, called an Enduro Flex Turbo. And it's from Walter. I saw this on uh, Chucky 2009's channel. Uh, he got some of these uh, sent to him. So I found a, an online supplier and I purchased, uh, purchased some of these as well. I figured I want to try them because I go through a lot of flap discs uh, when I'm doing welding projects like this, trying to clean them up. And this is supposed to be uh, a pretty good one. So, and since grinding tends to be loud, got my hearing protection. Hey guys, welcome back. We got all our parts welded up, cut, welded, painted. I, I just threw a quick coat of flat black paint on here uh, just to keep them the, from rusting more than anything else, really. I believe we're ready to put things together and see how this turns out. So the first thing that we need to do 
is I'm going to go ahead and put the wheels on here. And I need to find a cotter pin that's going to work. And again, these are just our Harbor Freight uh, wheels. And this is my own design. I didn't see this anywhere. I looked at a whole lot of different uh, people that, you know, made their chicken coops mobile. I wanted something that uh, I didn't have to do a lot of work to raise the coop up. My coop, I, th I think, is quite heavy. There's a lot of lumber on it, okay? And so I wanted to make sure I had something that, that would be able to lift it, but at the same point in time wasn't going to be very labor-intensive for me anyway. And this, as I said before, will just bolt on here. Should I ever decide that we're not going to do chickens anymore or we need to get rid of the coop for whatever reason, I can take this all back apart and use these uh, jacks for something else. Uh, what I drew out at the beginning of the video becomes now a reality. So basically this is what I have and then I, I made these plates that'll go on there. It's locked in with a pin. And so then all we have to do is crank this puppy up and that'll raise it up off the ground. I'm thinking that these two tires, they're, they're rated at 300 pounds each. So say 600 pounds total here, 600 pounds on the other axle. I think we should be, uh, we should be good. So put this aside and we'll put the other one together real quick. The pipe's not on there quite straight. I didn't. I, I tacked it on one side, and before I could get to it on the other side, it had raised. And uh, I guess I just got in a hurry. I should have cut that weld off and started over. But as I've said before, it's just a chicken coop, right? This part of our show is sponsored by Menards. Save big money at Menards. So we've got some additional hardware that I picked up. And I just want to go over kind of my logic behind this real quick i was trying to come up with a way to pick the front of this uh, unit up right so my plan is is to use my uh, old ford uh, farm tractor um it's a ford 9n 1941 ford 9n tractor i know it hasn't been on uh, my channel uh, previously i don't believe but uh, a friend of mine has a channel and it's been on his uh, his channel so go check out tractor time with Tim but the plan is going to be to put this through the outside on either end and then I got uh, 10 feet of this chain just because it came it came in a nice little bag for 10 feet and uh, this chain is plenty strong enough it says uh, load rating of 800 pounds again i really only need about maybe six feet maybe i can either double it up or i'll cut it <laughs> see most of my projects work this way guys i uh, have an idea and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and then i just kind of make stuff up as i go so i think what i'm going to do is i'll just go through here and wherever this needs to be let's say it's here we'll just use this uh link whatever you call these things but basically uh, this will be bolted on to the house or to the chicken coop we'll run one of these between each end then i'll just use this chain i'll hook it on my tractor and use the hydraulic lift to lift it up and you know again once we get it the right length uh, we should be able to get you know easy tension on this pretty quick and and it should be just great to pick it up plus once i've moved it i can just unhook that chain take it out of the way i didn't want to have a trip hazard obviously right where i would want to pick it up is the door to get into our coop i didn't want anything there that you know you're going to trip over you know like a you know you think of like a, a hitch coming out of the front of it I, I didn't want anything like that because of uh, that end being where we go in and out uh, at any rate that's my plan so the next step really is to go outside and uh, get these bolts put in the end and get the get the wheels mounted
up. Yay! All right, that wraps it up for our chicken coop mobilization. Once again, I want to ask you to like and subscribe, share with your friends, and thanks for hanging with us.